so we are getting the email under the email variable and the name under the name variable after that uh, we are just going to perform some very basic validation first I'm going to say dollar name equal to strip tax dollar name so if someone is trying to put any HTML tags to our name or the email field we are just going to strip do those tags okay here are dollar email after that what we need to do is if empty dollar name or empty dollar email so if the name is empty or the uh, email is empty just you know throw an error to them so I'm going to say echo please fill all the required fields okay just test it out guys so I'm going to refresh the page I hit submit it says please fill in all the required fields okay and uh, after that we have to check whether the email they are using is a valid email or not and that can be done with a pragmat and uh, I have a pragmat here already written that I will explain to you guys I'm just going to copy everything from there and uh, where I'm going to say else if else if not pragmat that means uh, if it's not matching this particular expression then throw an error so in this way we are starting the preg match then we are saying if it's starting with a to z or 0 to 9 and after that if they have a dot symbol and then again a to z or 0 to 9 or if they have an underscore as well plus if they are appending a at the rate and after that a to z then appending a dot then uh, a to z and dot com or dot co dot in it can be two or three uh, characters long so it can be dot com dot net uh, dot in depending upon the particular email id they have and perform this preg match against the dollar email and then we are going to say echo please enter a valid email address else we are just going to enter everything into a database so I'm going to say dollar SQL my SQL query run this query if everything is fine so insert into and first we need to set up a database for that so I'm going to go to my PHP my admin here I'll create a new database called uh, newsletter and I believe I already have one earlier but uh, that is something different I'm going to name this one to say news okay so we need a uh, call guest guest book or whatever you guys want to name it we need an ID field a name email and the time they are signing up so th uh, that would be four fields plus uh, the status whether they want to receive or not so I think five fields will do it for us so I'm going to say ID after that the name the email and uh, the sign up date sign up date and in the very last we need the status or you can say the sense status whatever you guys you want to name it it would be warchar email would be warchar as well sign up date would be date time here the status would be a small integer with only three and uh, I will say date time to normal the email can be 150 the name can be 100 characters long and the ID would be auto incremented in a primary key 
and I'm just going to save this particular database and uh, first we will set up a database connection file out here so I'm gonna name this one to connection.php so that we don't have to set up the connection every time we can just call this particular file whenever we want to connect to that particular database so I'm going to say dollar connection would be equal to mysql connect to the local host and uh, the user would be root and the password would be null for me and if you guys are on local host I believe it would be null for you but uh, if you are on your own server I think you should choose a very good password so mysql select db select the database that is news or die mysql error okay now here I'm going to say insert into news that would be the name the email and uh, the sign up date and the status okay and the values for them would be something like this so I'm going to say values would be dollar name dollar email and the sign update would be to now the mysql have a now function that will insert the today's date and time according to when they are registering and the status would be equal to one okay like this or die mysql error to see if we got any error with our script and then i'm going to say if dollar sql then just you know echo out successfully successfully subscribed or whatever uh, you want to write I'm okay with that okay guys now we are just going to test this script it says please fill in all the required fields so I enter my name out here I say I'm an and the email would be to john at the rate john dot com or you know try some crap first it's not letting me go because we already have the html5 email validation that we are just going to take off for a moment i'm going to say text so that we can check out our php validation okay i end the crap it says please enter a valid email address so i enter name equal to name the email equal to john at the rate john .com. I hit submit it says no database selected okay because we haven't called that file out here so I have to say include once connection.php okay I believe it will surely work now and it says news.news .news does not exist okay because it was guest book not news I'm really sorry guys for being very careless I hear it says function news dot move not that does not exist what is that okay insert into guest book name email sign update status equal to values dollar name email it's now one mysql error okay final try yep it says successfully subscribed okay so we finally got one subscriber guys and we can keep on sending the newsletter to this particular subscriber but before that we have to put edX functionality because every time it's refreshing the farm we don't want that that i will do it in next video so stay tuned goodbye